So, Mr. Collins, you did talk to the only uh, of the 40 finalists uh, that from Pittsburgh that made it to Tough Enough. That's right. I talked to uh, Don Arner, um, who is an independent wrestler here in the uh, Pittsburgh area. Mm-hmm. Uh, wrestling under the name Cassidy Stone, who I believe for PWX, uh, and also for some other organizations. Who is who was trained by uh, Chris Larusso, who we've had um, a couple months ago actually on the Indie Mayhem show. A uh, great interview. He was here in studio, um, and he's been doing a little bit with uh, Ring of Honor himself uh, here and there. So uh, a good so so check that out, and, and maybe we'll get a little insight into him from his trainer. So, but anyways, yeah. Anyway. Um, yeah, anyway, so Don's like really new, um, really, <laughs> really fresh to the business. He only debuted in 2013, uh, but like every single human being in Pittsburgh, seemingly, uh, he made a Tough Enough audition video, and I guess they liked what they saw because they jumped right on it, and uh, they gave him a call right back and told him to uh, do a phone interview. He did the phone interview. He said it, that's what he thought really, really went well for him. And then uh, the next thing you know, he got called down to be one of these 40 finalists. Out of 11,000 people, he was one of those 40 um, boys and girls who got invited down to Orlando. That's uh, that's pretty impressive. Uh, 11, so he did something right. 11,000 people, including all of us on the show. <laughs> I think all of us sent in videos. I, <laughs> right. I actually did not. He beat me. I, I know I'm not tough enough. That, that's not a question I need to answer. I know we sent a Sawtooth Willie one in, right? <laughs> Uh, Sawtooth did, in fact, send in a video. That's, That's right. true. I sent my own. I didn't share it too much, but uh, Bobby, I don't think he did, but he should have. I thought he <laughs> I th- did. I think no, we we submitted it for him, didn't we? Did we submit it for him? I don't think we're illegally allowed to. He did a video. Uh, well, uh, you know, alas. Yeah, we did it anyway. <laughs> Can you send vines? They just said not over sixty seconds, but they didn't say under <laughs> six. They had no exactly. no qualification about having under like seven seconds. <laughs> I should have just sent a gif of me doing this. <laughs> All right, look at this like smile. Look at this smile, huh? Huh? All right. So, I mean, it, 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 um, anyway, just to put a bow on this uh, yeah. talk I had with Don, uh, basically, um, he survived the first night, but he he was showing signs of like concu- concussion-like symptoms, oh, but he didn't end up having a concussion. But because of the medical protocols that WWE has in place, even showing signs of a concussion, even when you're not diagnosed with a concussion, is enough. To push you on the shelf for a day or two, and since they're doing like what a three day tryout down there, that was enough to knock him out of the competition. But the good news is that he got invited back for another tryout uh, coming up in September. So good luck to Don, and uh, hopefully he'll have a chance to really sharpen some of his uh, skills because I know when he goes to that tryout in September, there will be actual professional wrestlers there and not mostly bodybuilders and fitness models and the like. Um, <laughs> so so and with that and go check out the article it's in it's linked in the uh we've linked it on all of our social media today uh tagging our good friend matt carlin's over there of course uh but uh, uh a really good write-up and you actually i didn't get to listen to it but you actually have a phone call with him posted on there as well did i get that right yeah we talked we talked for about 30 minutes on the phone we were, we were only supposed to talk for like 10 or 10 minutes or so but uh don's got the gift of gab uh which probably has a lot to do with the fact that um why WWE might have been interested in him. Uh, but he had a lot of interesting things to say. Great story about um, when he was just completely gassed during one of these drills and locking eyes with Booker T. And mm-hmm. Booker T basically telling him, you know, you better get up, sucker, or you're gone, you're out of here. And Don having like, to <laughs> harness the will to get up. And that would probably get me up off the mat, too. Yeah, I yeah, about. I think, I think so. Booker T yelling at me would probably get it done. Uh, a, yeah, yeah, yeah. He had some good stories to tell from down there. It sounds like it was a really interesting and positive experience for him. Good, good, good. So, of course, tough enough happened tonight. The very first episode is going to be very awkward since it's right before this show, and I, and I say that a lot of us are are usually recording podcasts going into it. So, I don't know if we're going to cover it necessarily every week. Maybe we'll end up if you guys are up for it. Uh, some of you guys doing the uh, wrap up for it, uh, like we've done with Total Divas and such. But how was the first episode? Obviously, there's a different format than any of them. Before before it sounds like with the live elements and i was wondering how much of it would be live and how much would be pre-taped i don't know how you could fill an hour with live stuff of people taking bumps uh well no one has taken a bump yet on the show um it was about i'd say it was about 60 40 with 40 being the live stuff and 60 being pre-taped okay which isn't too bad uh it started off we got intros of everyone uh all 
and I have a feeling a lot of the intro because there's a lot of people to introduce. Right. Uh, you have yeah. Jericho and Renee Young. You have the three judges. You have um, all twelve competitors. I, I assume they're going to have an intro when they all come out after the uh, a lot of the pre-taped segments. But they did a lot of cardio training, uh, a lot of cardio and physical challenges. And unsurprisingly, the the one guy who's like a a slim petite MMA fighter 